Um, anybody who knows me um, very well will know that I'm not a lover of politics. Um, I don't... Um, bad. Bad thing. Bad. Politicians bad. Government's bad. We shouldn't be governed. Do you know what I mean? We're all perfectly capable. We do govern ourselves. We carry out the orders that this minuscule group of people tell us we've got to do. Yeah? So we already govern ourselves. We just do it under the orders of strange cloakity people. Um, anyway, I was currently meeting. I have a large book collection. I did do a video on this missing, the missing So Says Cares 45. It was too big. It was 15 minutes long. Um, but I have a big book collection which I revealed um, in there. And currently I'm looking at the Hitler Conspiracy, all right, a documentary of Nazi aggression um, by John, John L. Stipp. Right? And this was um, done in 19, the last edition was 1997, 1977, sorry. So it's a really old book. But on the front bit, right, because um, I don't know, I don't know that much about Hitler. I learned it at school because it was in the curriculum. But I was a teenager, you know what I mean? I was more interested in the lads. <laughs> um, but this, I thought, I'd share. I do like that word, share. A group of... Right, a group of revisionist historians led by the late Charles A. Beard and blah, 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 these chaps, have busily and rather effectively engaged themselves in the business of revealing that Franklin D. Roosevelt tricked the American people, ah, oh, never, into the unnecessary participation in World War II. In addition, a world-renowned historian, for reasons difficult to assess, has published a much-read work proving that Hitler was no more responsible for bringing on the Second Great War than any other national leader. If we forget, or if we come to place full faith in partial truths, or worst of all, if we both forget and falsely believe, our tomorrows hold little hope for that measure of security and serenity that even this cynic's heart yearns for. And then on the back, it says in big letters, our future depends upon whether or not we learn lessons from history. Kurt von Schusnig. Sorry if I got that wrong. Um, but we didn't learn the lesson, did we? We have, we've been tricked into another war. In fact, we haven't even been tricked. We've been lied to and manipulated. No, if you go out and ask anybody on the street, hey, mate, do you want to go to war? Should we start a war with somebody? How many people are going to go, yeah, do you know what? Ain't had a bloody good war in ages. Oh, yeah, oh, I love war. Don't you love war? Oh, Betty, don't you love war? Oh, yeah, you do love a bit of war. Have a word. We don't want the things that they're making us do. Why do we let them make us do it? Why don't we learn the lessons from history? Why don't we? We listen to people if they're telling the truth. Why do we applaud in huge numbers lying shitbags? I'm sorry for my language, but why do we? You know, have some bloody pride in yourself. Stand up and say, well, no. You know, these are a minuscule group of individuals. There are never never a thousand of them on the planet at one time there are billions on this planet why should a minuscule amount of people decide what all the, the billions get up to half of it being dying the, most of the rest suffering even if you are wealthy you still suffer there is still tax on everything. You're still worrying about your tax returns and bloody this, that and the other. Why? When there is such a simple option, there is an alternative option. And I am quite happy to stand with these men and just tell it like it is. Get me there. Hear me. Pass me on. If dickheads like this and George W. Bush and Gordon Doom can bloody well run the world. Well, not run the world, but dictate 
what happens to these people. If these people can get thousands of followers, why can't I? Because I'm working on your side. And they're not. They're working on their side. Otherwise, no people would be dying. There would be no rich... Well... Oh, please hear me. Pass me on. You know what I mean? Somewhere out there. You know, the future's going to be fantastic. I promise you. We will do it together because we do it already. Just under the wrong orders. Share. Lots of sharing. Let's learn some lessons. Let's learn some real, proper, worth learning lessons and move on. Progress as a species. Read yesterday, actually, 700 light years, or seven, well, a lot of 100 light years away, they found, like, um, particles that could indicate some kind of life thing. It's like, well, we know there's life in the cosmos because we're here. Look, look, life. A bit dodgy life, but I would rather that that money went on feeding my fellow man shelter for my fellow man and we should be disgusted with ourselves for things like that the hadron collider war when we suffer you know I me mean? when people are dying every day because they don't have clean water and they don't have anywhere to live we clap people who decide to go and look at something that we're never ever gonna see go figure Where's the sense? Talk to you soon.